Einen wunderschönen guten Abend vom Schloss de Colombe hier, ein wunderschönen saint Bodel. Äh, Frühling, wir haben Frühling, so wunderschönes Wetter und ähm, mit Frühling kommt viel Gartenarbeit. Hallo à tous, bienvenue à Genève de Château de Colombe in saint Bodel. Es ist der Printemps hier, wir haben viel Arbeit in den Jardins. Und dann wir Jardin. uh, natürlich Englisch sprechen, Freunde, willkommen um, to the Genève de Château, new episode. It's a lot about gardening, isn't it? We have spring. Yes, and so we are outside a lot doing a lot of gardening right now. And not even making a dent, to be quite honest, mm. right? That's true, so true. <laughs> and we had a little accident with our tractor. Mm. Uh, that was, well, it's not a big accident. However, uh, so there was some equipment in the back a long time ago and it was taken down. And whoever did that, um, there are iron pipes and piping that would just it stuck out from the ground and they were just flattened. And mm -hmm. so the mower deck. They, were in, they were in tall grass, so you couldn't see them. Well, it was, not, it was this tall and it was invisible. I mean, I well, was, yes, but it was in grass that you yes, couldn't see them. So um, and we didn't know they were there. Mm -hmm. And it sucked it up and it tore out the, the center of blade of the mowing deck. So for about a week and a half, we're now without. <laughs> right. Yes. And the grass it's is terrible. getting tall. It's getting tall. Yes. I um, actually went all the way to the end of the property to cut the those, the uh, Lilac. lilacs. And um, we also have the white variety. We have a darker purple, multiple shades of purple. It's, I wish you could smell how wonderful this is right now. It's stunning. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot blooming right now. We do. And so we'll slowly introduce that until it's over. <laughs> but we even have roses already in bloom. That's right. right. Uh, so that scent is fantastic. Uh, it's a lot of gardening and have a look what we did. Okay.
So I can hear Patrick is again back at the sewing machine doing something today. That's me, yes. <laughs> so, this is very colorful. What have we got going on? Well, uh, this is for Jane and Tony's um, coronation party. And uh, so this is I'm sewing bunting. And Jane was here yesterday and we did uh, the cutting and sewing because I have, that's a lot of bunting. Oh yeah. But you know, we had to cut uh, the fabric and so now, and it, it everything takes longer than, you know, one would maybe think. So what I did, I would, um, then finally, uh, Tony came and we actually had, had a lovely talk and stuff. And so it was just getting too late. And I said, you know what, I just finished this uh, another day. And um, that's what I'm doing right now. How about it? Very nice. And the nice thing about all of this is that uh, England and France have the same colors for their flag, or national colors, red, white, and blue, like the United States too. Must have been very popular then. Apparently, <laughs> no one was very original. No, I mean, it's uh, although I, I do have to say I I love the Union Jack because it is such a um, creative standard uh, with okay, what was that? The Saint George's flag, Saint Patrick's flag, and Saint Michael's. I know I'm butchering this, so don't quote me, people. Just ignore it. Um, but, so it's three flags combined into one for the United Kingdom. Uh, and I think Jane looked that up, I think it was 1801 or 1804 that, the, that it was created like this. Uh, and of course it's not actually the, 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 the uh, real standard for the United Kingdom. Because that would be the flag with the, with the um, arms of, of, of the, the royal family. But yeah, so that's, it's really fascinating. So um, in any case, I think <laughs> Now you see how that happens. Um, so I'm uh, doing the bunting and uh, we will also, I have volunteered us for a few things. So um, do help them obviously with what they need. Uh, but Stuart is going to uh, do what? I am going to be making uh, cakes for the party. Uh, they're planning on quite a lot of people. So it turned out that they want me to make three. It will be three sheet cakes or tray bakes, as the Brits would say. Uh, one of which uh, I will spend the most time doing the decorating on. And, and what are they, though? The oh, I'm so, of course they're yes. They are uh, Victoria sponge cakes, which is yummy. Yes, and the the main one will have the uh, British flag on it, done with fruits on top, decorated. And of course, we will record that and show that to you when we do that. And you are going to be making. Uh, the coronation quiche. The quiche, yes. Well, let's just say I'm making about 10 quiches. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's, uh, we had had a uh, whole planning meeting and, and all that. So, uh, and I know Tony uh, did go and he got a, a wine and whiskey and, and all kinds of good uh, <laughs> dangerous things. <laughs> and um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I might make uh, scones, uh, traditional with um, raisins or sultanas, sol which are not that easy to find here, sultanas. Uh, so you can just use raisins. It's not totally the same, but it's quite yummy. Uh, but I don't know, we might have uh, clear, I think, Wanted to do something, I don't know, maybe she wants to do the scones. Uh, so that's great. And then we have, um, which is going to be exciting because we never had extra time to really talk to them much. Uh, jo uh, from Australia and her husband who have uh, bought a chateau not far from us. And when I say not far from us, 
minute to Salon is uh, about what? Um, an hour away from here? Yeah, that's not far. So uh, they have uh, invited them and they have uh, said they would like to join us. Uh, their event is going to be fantastic. I'm very much looking forward to uh, seeing them and meeting uh, a whole bunch of people that we've never had the chance to, to meet before. So that's going to be great. And the party starts, I think, at 10.30 in the morning uh -huh. to watch the procession, procession and along the mall and all that. And uh, then it's the, the big coronation lunch at, at well, not, not the wrong one hour or something. <laughs> yes. Um, so that's going to be, be fun. Oh dear, I lost my thread. That is so sad, isn't it? Yep. Uh, okay. In any case, thank you. <laughs> No. Does it have to happen? What do you think? In the, the front courtyard, <laughs> uh, when so we, we we do things in stages, so we deal with the, the kind of like the house on fire. So when we have like grass areas that are very very tall, and I mean like this tall, mm -hmm. we tear them out with the uh, with the roots. And I s swear to you, two days later, there's something <laughs> another spot that just exploded, yeah. and um, the grass in in the park of the chateau is now. Oh, good Lord, uh, way above my knee. So yeah. it's way over two feet tall. Um, <laughs> but we have wonderful uh, wildflowers in there. So the areas we wouldn't mow anyways, so that um, we have a lot of bees and bumblebees, mm -hmm. that they have enough um, sources for nutrition. Uh, we still have over 80 dahlias that are pre that need to be planted. Right, as well as a few <laughs> other different plants. I mean, I think we, yes. have, we have begonias and... Oh. oh, lots of, I don't even know. <laughs> Sweet peas. We have so many now. Oh, but we did get planted recently uh, is uh, a wisteria, which we were able to finally get planted. Yes. Now, let me just say real, real quick, there are people out there who say, oh, wisteria is terrible. Someone on YouTube said they hate wisteria. Now, there are always comments about mm -hmm. how terrible wisteria is. Wisteria is very common here as oh, in, yeah. in gardens. Yeah. Uh, on thin iron fences, and the beauty of it is it doesn't attach itself to the facade. Right. And um, it's not a parasite, and you can beautifully prune this. So, trust us, we know what we're doing. And right. And through. the one we have is very small. So <laughs> right now, <laughs> yes. And <laughs> and it does it does appear that it will bloom. So we're looking forward to yes, seeing what, what it will look like when it blooms. Yep. 
So that's that was really uh, that was lovely. Yeah. Ah, uh, good lord! What else? Oh, so much, so much <laughs> going on right now. So, uh, one thing that we did this past weekend was we went to a couple of brocans. Yes. Yes. Uh, mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how uh, how lucky we were at finding anything, but it was fun to go. Uh, we did right? find some 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 nice things, and we we met up with uh, Tony and Jane, mm. uh, and. They scored some really nice items. They did, yes. Uh, which they they can use it. So it's really it was great. Um, we got some items that we really liked, mm -hmm. but it was not one of those brocans you, you come back from and go, that was fantastic. But it was <laughs> it was lovely, and it was too. It was it was large. We had beautiful weather, so uh, we got out and about. Mm -hmm. So it was lovely. Have a look at that.
Now, there's a kitchen update. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah, it's that nothing uh, is happening. Yeah. So, everything behind us is completely done. Uh, I'm looking at the sink cabinet right now. It's, it's over there. And it's done. Yep. Um, uh, min minus, uh, you know, us getting our countertops. D well, other than that, it's everything else is done. Yes. But now the, the uh, around, well, yes, there. Yes. <laughs> but over there. So we have two walls where the cabinets are there. Mm -hmm. We can't, uh, we will, we will soon um, completely attach them. There's one more cabinet that Stuart needs to alter. Right, right. But other than that, uh, so after that, we can then finally order our countertops. Mm -hmm. There is no word on when our cooker is coming. The piano. No. Or the Nothing stove yet. top. Uh, the exhaust is, we have the motor. We, <laughs> yes, we have a everything. We, we did fi we did finally find <laughs> quite a while ago now, but we did finally find the extractor or the exhaust fan. Yes, that we wanted to have uh, over the stove. Uh, it's a bit more uh, appropriate because it's a bit it's long, more industrial, but so uh, it actually is appropriate for the size of this stove. Um, and uh, we had to buy it in in pieces, <laughs> right? <laughs> So you have to buy, you know, the actual fan, extractor fan, and then you have to buy the motor, a, yes. a motor separate, yes, and then you have to buy a, a switch. And the tubing. And the, yes, it's all separate things. So we have two of the three pieces, right? <laughs> two of the four. Two of the four, Because we still have to buy oh, the tubing, right. which is easy. Right. That, that's, that is actually one thing we can get. Right. But actually, <laughs> the one that we really need is the actual exhaust fan unit yes so we can actually fit it in there and finish all the other stuff that's inside of that uh chimney area and ask john to area. to correct everything because um ah. <laughs> so waiting on that right and we we uh we are now this uh, next week we will close up the space so that the time capsule will be uh, right. We are, right. We now already have uh, everything we need to close the wall up. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we, I think we might be waiting for our, uh, one or two people who already have things that are on the way. But pretty much, right. uh, yeah, pretty much the time has now passed. So <laughs> <laughs> if, you ha if you haven't sent it, well, you'll catch the next time capsule because we've got plenty of other places where one can go. So. Right. But so then we will have our upper cabinets in there too. Mm -hmm. um, and... Then there is a little of, little bit of tiling, which is, I don't know, two, three, three, four hours. So that is nothing big. So that is really, um, we're close. Right. And we are still working on several different projects over at the Jeet. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> still have a, a little bit of uh, a painting of some things to do and, uh, Quite a bit of work that we're doing outside of the jeet in the courtyard for the, for the yes, and, um, and can I say that we're going to build a fence? Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're much closer to getting it done, <laughs> well, it's and so you you we can't use a spade, you, we can't use mm -hmm. a digger. Uh, there are hole diggers that are lovely. Uh, we can't use them. No. We are using a crowbar. Right. The ground is just so. <laughs> solid and full of large stones it's rock it's uh and it's rock hard so we're using actually a five foot crowbar mm -hmm. to get posts in as deep as we possibly can mm -hmm. and we we just hit a wall and there might be flag stones underneath we don't mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. but it's a solid rock surface um so it is very slow but uh, it's completion is in the next few days, and we have um, we have a huge party coming up, isn't it? Don't we? We do. I mean, we're invited to one. We are invited to it, as we mentioned in the uh, the segment earlier. We are actually other than the bunting that Patrick, right. Patrick was making. You know, we have mentioned that you know we've got quiches and cakes to make. Yes. Yes, we do. So um, yes, eight to ten quiches and three big Victoria uh, sponges or Victoria sandwiches. We're crazy. Uh, and it's, it's fantastic. I mean, we're so looking forward to this. Oh yeah. It'll be fun. And yeah. yes. And then, um, 
Today we went over there, helped to get things from one place to another, setting them up. We robbed the tourist information or tourist bureau of all their chairs today. <laughs> Thank you, Abdi. It was great. Um, so it's, uh, Tony and Jane are, are getting their place together for uh, the coronation of King Charles III. Mm -hmm. And we're really excited. Yep. So, on that note, yes. If you like this episode, please like, subscribe, and recommend us to your friends and families. Um, if you want to help support our renovation of the chateau, uh, you can do that by buying us a coffee or subscribing to uh, Patreon. And we also are putting together a wish list on Amazon mm -hmm. for Journey to the Chateau, mm -hmm. which was suggested by us, to us by Aris. Um, it's a great idea. Thank you. And. Uh, and we'll see you on Friday. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> see you on Friday. Au revoir. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.